when I first started got into OBS, I actually had the worst problem was when I was recording stuff, it wouldn't play the actual desktop audio, the FM. Now, there's some steps to do it. What's going on humans? This is Kevin Kudo here doing an FL Studio tutorial to add to the tens of 20 million that's already out there. So this is my take on something that I've tried to learn and did a lot of research on it. I imagine you can imagine I probably had like 10 videos already of the same thing. But the problem was that they always had the same problem. And for a newbie like me that's learning and testing and tinkering at the same time, um, I want things to just kind of click one time and it works. I don't want to be playing around and finding options even though I already know how to probably navigate nine out of ten programs out there but at the end of the day it's like man i'm just trying to learn a program this is not even a set in stone thing i could be moving on to a better program i just want something to work my first thoughts on clicking it if it works we're good to go and move on so anyway that being said going on youtube trying to figure out how to get my audio working at the same time as my mic recording um the videos in the background obs unfortunately you know it sounds good looks good but then when you go play it on vlc for whatever reason there's no audio. no audio, only my voice. So let's move on. So the first thing we do here is we actually go into options, audio settings. And then what you do is a lot of these guys were saying go into this ISO, I guess drivers or whatever you want to call them. And they were saying use FL Studio's default one. Now it works, everything. The problem is, is that it's extremely laggy, it's extremely behind. So I personally don't like that. It's a little bit too much, but it is what it is. Now, what I did was I couldn't get anything to work. So I just said, I'm going to try just going direct right to the sound. And I did that. And pretty much that was the one switch that I made that made it work almost instantly. Now, there's pros and cons to the way I did it. But I find that for free and for fast and easy and and I guess in terms of you just want to kind of get your audio and video videos out there quick, then this is the best way to do it hands down. So you go into yours, you find whatever one that yours is, right? You click it. Yours is going to be, might be different depending on what you're using, but you find your audio interface. If not, just use everything default and then go with the FL studio. But if you have a separate audio interface, then you definitely want to use the audio interface. Click that. Now I go into OBS. What happens is you go into your settings into OBS first. Then what you do is you go into output, go to recording, make sure that you're on MP4, you have it MP4, and then you go audio track one and two, and then you're going to go to the audio, the next one over here, you're going to make sure this desktop audio is on your, whatever your interface is, mine's the Mbox 2, same thing with the mic output, Mbox 2. Now, what you do also, now these things are going to pop up over here, first thing you do is you click this little cog over here go properties and make sure that when you click this bar that everything is on the mbox 2 if not keep everything on default if you're just going to use the regular fl studio asio drivers just keep everything default now we go mbox 2 again for my mic so now everything is going through the mbox 2 right directly there's no in between so the latency is going to be the best or latency whatever you want to call it it's the crevice the crevasse you know, same thing so then you do that so what you do is you actually go into your um, desktop audio little little cog over here and then you go into your properties same thing device it's usually on default take it off the default and put it onto your digit your interface that you have press ok same thing with the mic I do the same thing with the mic I go into properties device I go into the mic so it's just right to it it's not thinking where to go default it just goes right to it now what happens is, is when you play uh, music in the background then you're gonna obviously have the voice and the things recording right? so you can hear my voice at the same time and you can hear the song right Ooh. Ooh, what do I do Ooh, I think I just paused it there. You guys don't get to hear that yet. Not yet. Just kidding. And uh, if this had value to you, then like and subscribe.